hey, so I wanted to talk about why I don't drink alcohol. And just for the record, I just want to make a few things clear. I am not straight edge. I am a cannabis smoker. I do smoke cannabis, but I don't drink alcohol. Not always. I do drink alcohol on a very, very rare occasion, a very rare basis. Last time I had alcohol was during the summer. It was a six pack of twisted tea. And it took me about a month to get through the six pack. And that's because I just don't really drink very much. Six packs are interesting because they tend to linger. You know, like they tend to just remain there. And it's just like, sometimes just you just kind of wish it wasn't there, you know? <laughs> At least for me, I'm talking in my own perspective. I just don't really like alcohol very much. Twisted Tea is my favorite like beer or like cider or hard drink, if you will. But I like wine. I like red wine. And I don't even really drink red wine very much. Um, there's a place near me that sells like strawberry wine for like $20. And I haven't had that in a while, like, like over a year. <laughs> and it was good. It was very delicious. I had it all in one night. So I kind of pre would prefer to have that over like twisted tea because it's like a single thing and it's just like you don't have to you know what I'm saying it's it's also just a lot more flavorful and that's kind of what I have an, affin an affinity for when it comes to alcohol is the flavor right if you hand me like Coors or like a uh, Coke 45 or like like you know I'm not going to want to drink it because it's just going to taste to me like vomit and bread, you know. <laughs> you know, the pops aren't going to make it all that better. But um I like I like some alcohols, but I don't really like a whole lot of alcohol. In fact, like I just don't I don't really drink alcohol very regularly or often for that matter. I kind of would prefer to not have it, you know. Um, if you gave me a choice between cannabis and alcohol, I would choose cannabis. Uh, and usually I drink alcohol when it's like I don't want to be sober, but it's like I don't have the choice of getting cannabis. That's usually when I do it. But um, yeah, I, I, I don't like alcohol. So why? Why don't I like alcohol? First of all, it's the taste. You know, I just, it doesn't sit well in my stomach. It doesn't sit well. I don't like the feeling of being drunk. It's kind of awful, actually. Um, with cannabis, it's like, even during a tolerance break, I at least am experienced enough with it to be able to control myself when need be. Like, you know, say I have a bowl, like a bowl of, like in a pipe, you know, and I'm in the middle of smoking it, and I'm like, okay, I want to take a break, and we'll resume this later. I could just put it out, and then smoke more of it later. It's, it's easier for me to control, and I like that. I like being able to control how under the influence I get, you know, where it's like with can, uh, alcohol, it's like, I don't know, like, even a little bit, you know, unless I'm in a social setting, I just don't feel good, you know? Like, you know, I, I, don't, I don't mind, like, going to a bar or something like that, you know? I don't mind, like, hanging out with friends and having a beer, you know? But I don't like having, like, a beer alone, you know? I would prefer to have it with friends because then I can have the wonderful company of having that friend there while being under the influence. It's a nice experience. Um, I would recommend it. But, um, it's, it's not the same when you are alone.
It's, it's really depressing when you're alone. And if you're going through stuff, like you're going through some traumatic shit, then it's even worse. Because like, then it's, a, it's used as a depressant. So I don't like it, I don't, well, this video is already personal anyway, so fuck it. So my mother used to drink like heavily. Um, and so there was a point where like my mom would get so drunk that she would drink and drive on the 405 freeway at midnight. And it, I've been in the car with her while she did that. And I just didn't like seeing her like that. She was going through stuff, relationship stuff, you know, struggling with being a single parent and all that stuff. Um, the one event that really got me was when, like, was when I was sleeping and I got a knock on my window, my bedroom window from my aunt who was visiting from Ohio. And she told me that, like, not to be afraid, but my mother, <laughs> is like is face down on the floor in my garage you know and I ran down there and I saw the paramedics with her there was a there was a pool of blood around like where she fell down and that really fucking scared me you know um now granted I know the same thing can happen with cannabis and all that But, you know, that's just, that's just my experience with it. So I just kind of like, I don't ever want to get that drunk, ever. And thankfully I never have. Um, I mean, I've been pretty drunk in the past. And I've been pretty fucking high in the past too, but never to that extent. And, uh, you know, usually if I, I think... It's interesting, because, like, I've never passed out in a place I shouldn't pass out, except for one time when I was so high, and I was at a party, and I fell asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep on, like, um, this person's bed, <laughs> and they, t they started playing Magic the Gathering on my back. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> this was, like, I don't know, it must have been, like, eight, seven, eight years ago, something like that. It was so silly. <laughs> I just wanted to share that story. And I also just wanted to say that like, you know, if, if you are into alcohol, you know, or if you drink, you know, I don't judge you for it. You know, I don't judge you for consuming any substance. I just don't want alcohol like I would I would prefer to not have alcohol only in certain circumstances and it's like I gotta be in the mood for it you know um I also just remember there was a time actually you know before I end the video where I was actually drinking kind of regularly for a while like it wasn't a very long time but this was before I started HRT, actually. Um, HRT, I gotta say, hormone replacement therapy actually stopped me from drinking, like, a lot, which I think is important. I remember there was a point where, like, I was drinking so much that in my bedroom, I had a whole line of bottles just, like, like in my bedroom, like all against the wall. It was a long line of bottles, like wine bottles and beer bottles and stuff. And they were all different varieties and stuff. And, you know, I was doing terribly at that point, just absolutely depressed. I was feeling like the lowest I felt in a long time. And my mother, like, just told me, hey, give it. You know, remember how you felt about me when I was doing that, you know? I, I'm worried for you that you're falling down the same path. And you know what? She was right. And that's why I came out as trans and I started HRT and, you know, things haven't really, like, been 
better in terms of my depression, but in terms of my self-image. That's what matters to me. And honestly, I, I feel better in my skin more and more every single day. And, you know, I, I've, I've, become to, I've begun to accept that I'm a person on this planet that matters, you know, and that I shouldn't be throwing my life away like that. I deserve happiness and fruition and success and to thrive on this planet just as much as anyone else does. So, yeah. Um, also, for those who are wondering, um, my lips have been really chapped in the past couple of days. I've been wearing like this, uh, what is it? It's, it's this stuff, it's like birch bees, uh, rhubarb. It's, I don't know, it's, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I've been doing for my lips, though. Anyway, take care. Till next time.